Hey guys, what is up? We got a brand new trailer for Dune Prophecy, the newest HBO series being told in the Dune universe. And of course, you know, this is a series that takes a few years before the events of Paul Atreides, uh, bef before, you know, all of that happened. And, you know, I'm very excited for the series. Very, very excited. You know, very, very big Dune fan. Very, very big Dune fan. And, you know... I think, you know, this series could be really good. You know, look at the Penguin. Penguin is thriving right now. And I think this could do the same thing with Dune. People love Dune. Dune 2 made over $700 million this year at the box office. And, you know, I'm just excited to get down to this and see, you know, what the the story is. You know, what's the story of the show? Because we've seen little teases, you know. It's like, oh, the Bene Gesserit are influencing the houses somehow. But what is the story of this show? It's got a terrific cast in there. But with all that out of the way, let's watch this official trailer. For Dune Prophecy. Here we go. Ah! Oh no! Oh my god! No, no way! Oh, it's here we go! Oh, look at these fights! Oh. Oh, that's a sandworm. Ooh, CG looks great. From many worlds. To advance our species and govern the future. Oh. Here we go. The oh, there's Mark Strong. The treaties. Now is the time. Is that Kaladin? And protect ah. Stirring the bloodline into the houses. Oh, wow. Imperium is a circus of fear and rumor. I'm surrounded by vipers. Mm, very Game of thrones -y. lose control of the Rackus. The great houses would feed me to the world. Oh. From Vikings. Ho, ho, ho. Your Majesty, the troubles are far greater than just a Rackus. Oh, this looks um, really good so far. Very much a Game of Thrones like type story, it seems like. To wipe out every trace of the sisters from our world. That is why I've been gifted a great power. What power? What the hell? Consider me a true believer. What? We've never seen a force like this. Look, that guy looked like Paul Atreides a little bit. Oh, look at that CG! Oh, the fights! Very much a TV level Dune show, it feels like, though. Dude, Travis Fimal is gonna be great in the show. Oh, ho, ho. Fear is the mind killer! <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a lie. <laughs> Woo! Dune Prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. November 17th. A month away, officially. Alright, guys. So that was the official trailer for Dune Prophecy. This series looks... Oh, my God. It looks amazing. Uh, if that's down to the world building they do in this trailer, showing us the world of Dune... But also the political intrigue. You know, it, it does take... You know, I'm watching something like... I do see a bit of that Game of Thrones political intrigue in there. You know, where everyone's trying to compete for Arrakis. But also, the big looming threat is that... The Bene Gesserit are trying to establish themselves in these houses. You know, by having their Bene Gesserit, you know... Do it with uh, these leaders of the houses to produce a special child. And it looks like Travis Fimal might be one of those children already. You know, it looks like he has some sort of power. You know, uh, that's what I'm kind of getting from the show. You know, them just trying to establish their power in the houses. You know, creating the myth of who Paul Atreides was gonna, gonna be. 
to be Wadib, you know, the legend, the prophecy of Wadib, them creating that, installing it in Iraq, installing it across the universe. And I do think Mark Strong is playing a character in the house, uh, in house of, in uh, the house of Atreides. You know, I think he's the main guy ruling there. Uh, we do see a guy who kind of looks like Timothy Chalamet, uh, but we know that this takes seven thousand years later, so that can't be his father. That can't be, you know, anyone that he would know because this takes. Thousands of years before you know, uh, Paul Atreides even existed. So, if you're looking for like connections to like the OG movies, like the only one I'm gonna really see to the original movies is going to be you know just the houses' names and maybe you know there's some name mentions you know probably in those Dune movies that might be mentioned in the show or might be characters in the show now. But you know Travis from all, oh I I think he's such an underrated actor. You know if that's to his work in Vikings, if that's with him in Dance. Dancing with Wolves, you know, he's very underrated. He is a very, very good actor, and I'm really cool to see him in this series. He's one of the reasons I really want to watch it, because I'm a big fan of Tra Travis Fimal. You know, he, I think he's a great actor. He's very, you know, if you haven't watched Vikings, he is great as Rhaegar in Vikings. Oh, he is so, so great. But I think this is going to be a hell of a time. Uh, it's definitely a show we're going to be watching on the channel, definitely. It's Dune. You guys, I, I love Dune. I love Dune, too. It's like, there's nothing right now that's come out that I think will beat Dune 2 unless, you know, there's another perfect movie that comes out. Dune is one of the, Dune 2 is one of the best movies I've seen in years, you know. Just storytelling rise and, like, cinematically rise, you know. Dune 2, to me, was an experience. Because you go to the movies to have an experience, and that what Dune 2, Dune Part 2 was. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for Dune Prophecy, or are you, are you like, eh, I'm kind of over my Dune fad now. You know, personally, I'm not over my Dune fad. I'm still into my Dune fad. <laughs> Because I love Dune. I love this universe. I love Dune. But guys, leave comments down below. Like the video. Comment on the video. And subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.